Oloi Tok Tok in Kajado County near the Kenya and Tanzania border. We are going to Imurutot uh, community unit and uh, what we... Our journey begins at 8 o'clock in the morning. Traversing a meandering terrain of 23 kilometers to Imurutot Health Center, upon arrival, we find a beehive of activities. It's an immunization day and mothers are already here with their babies. This young boy seems to be in his own world, oblivious to the fact that some 10 years ago, children his age rarely had access to such facilities and some even died on the way due to long distances in search of medical care. It has taken efforts of various stakeholders to have such a facility in this location. World Vision assisted with the collaboration of the government and World Vision we got this facility. Ambref, with collaboration with the government, county government of Kajado, really did us a lot in trying to educate the community around. Community health volunteers have also worked tirelessly to sensitize the local community on the benefits of skill delivery and child care, as well as taking the services to their doorsteps, despite the challenges. One challenge that I face in the community, one of them is, is transport. Because from when to visit those households because my work is visit is to visit household to go to schools to educate students visiting household visiting the sick bedridden patients in the household so i don't have any transport to go to the villages the number of pregnant mothers now attending antenatal clinics are impressive compared to previous years up to now uh, in terms of uh, at natural care, uh, we are doing uh, 52 percent against a backdrop of uh, 39 in 2013. This tuk tuk serves as an ambulance to attend to emergencies. The driver, James Kipaipai, is also a community health volunteer. He receives a call from Amanyata to fetch a young pregnant woman who is in urgent need of treatment. Without wasting time, we accompany Kipaipai to the Manyata of Nanyorang Kayan. Here, we also find Agnes Wayua, who is also a community health volunteer, already preparing Nanyorang for hospital. We hurriedly accompany the 20-year-old Nanyorang. Despite the bumpy ride in the rush to hospital, Nanyorang arrives safely and is attended to. The hospital management assures us that she will be discharged once she is stable, but the community health volunteer will be monitoring her at her manyata as her delivery date beckons to ensure that she gets to the hospital on time in the tuk-tuk, which at the moment is the only faster means to get to the hospital. But should her labor pains begin at night or during the rainy seasons, the situation may be challenging. When it is rainy season, these supplies cannot move because our roads are bad. In the previous years, women had challenges accessing antenatal care, leading to a high prevalence of maternal and neonatal deaths in Kajado County. Traditional midwives had no medical skill to handle delicate cases and emergencies. Mary Shauka is a traditional birth attendant in Imurtot. She is happy that through collaboration with community health volunteers, she has attained skills and knowledge. Since we started uh, being trained about the best way of, uh, of handling pregnant mothers, we changed our, 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 our ways and we accepted the training that we were trained. And from that time, nowadays as a, as a, as a birth attendant, I don't conduct, uh, conduct deliveries anymore. Wow. Mm -hmm. Community health volunteers have made significant contributions to community-based health promotions, disease prevention and maternal health support.
It is hoped that these recent developments in Kajado County will go a long way in averting the preventable maternal and child deaths in the county and boost Kenya's efforts of attaining Goal 3 of the Sustainable Development Goals, which is reducing maternal mortality ratio to 70 per 1,000 births. Sheila Yogo, reporting for Channel 1 News in Oloitoktok, Kajado County. Thank <laughs> you.